The heads-up display includes a light meter wired into a series of photocells in my suit, providing real-time visibility data. When the meter is at zero, I'm a ghost shadow. When it's at max, I'm lit up like a Dutch brothel, as Lambert would say. I don't want to know how he knows that. Below the light meter is the sound meter. It indicates the amount of noise I'm making, but also tracks the local ambient noise level. Any noise I make that doesn't spike over the slider is masked by the ambient and undetectable. The SC-20K is the third echelon's prototype modular assault rifle. It can be configured with four different attachments. The primary module is a 556 by 45 assault rifle in a both up configuration with a 1.5 times reflex sight and an integral silencer. The binary trigger offers semi-automatic fire with a half squeeze and fully automatic fire when you hold the trigger down. The foregrip attachment provides a stable firing platform and allows for better control over recoil during sustained fire. The launcher attachment uses a range of 40 mil devices, including less than lethal options like the sticky shocker or ring airfoil and specialized surveillance tools like the sticky camera. The shotgun attachment fires a 12 gauge shell loaded with triple odd buck. It's not subtle but its stopping power can't be beat at close range. The sniper attachment fires a 20mm anti-material APDS round. It can easily overpenetrate hardcover. Controlled breathing just before firing offers pinpoint accuracy. The OPSAT is my link to third echelon. It tracks my current objectives in real time and collects and stores important data and notes. It also contains a three-dimensional map of the area, indicating the location of my outstanding objectives. The SC prototype pistol fires 5.7 by 28 millimeter rounds, and its integral silencer is superior to that of the SC-20K. The SC pistol also mounts the new OCP that can temporarily and silently disable most electrical devices, including lights. Third Echelon's multi-vision goggles are the state-of-the-art and enhanced vision technology. Night vision allows good visibility in dark areas, but becomes washed out in brightly lit places. Thermal is useful for detecting warm objects in the dark, and also allows you to see through certain objects. Uh. EMF vision is useful for seeing electromagnetic fields, which is useful for identifying things that can be disrupted with the OCP. The map is not the territory. 
before walking into the line of fire. Take a look around. These two aren't my enemy. They're soldiers just like me. If I stay nice and quiet, they'll never know I'm here. The light is my real enemy. And the one good thing about lights is that they don't shoot back. I'll let these guys go home to their wives tonight. Respect for the enemy is a requirement for survival. But that doesn't mean you can't look down on them sometimes. Use every opportunity to come at them from an unexpected direction. This includes attacks from above, attacks from behind. And even attacks from below. People my age try to stay fit by taking the stairs. But most people my age don't have to worry about guys with AK-47s. So I've had to find my own ways to keep in shape. The infrastructure designed to support a city, from plumbing to electrical work, from eaves and gutters to security fencing. It's invisible to the average person. But when invisibility is your livelihood, you need to learn to see the things that everyone else ignores. Thank you. 
One shadow that no one is ever suspicious of is his own. When you're close enough to read the label on his uniform, close enough to smell his aftershave, every step he takes is a step you've given him, a step that brings you closer to your objective. Every breath he takes, every decision he makes, is one that you've allowed until it's time to go your separate ways, and the decision is yours alone. The history of the world is the history of cryptography. Secrets are meant to be stolen. Locks meant to be opened. This is the key. To access a secure device or file structure, you need to locate an open port address. They look just like internet addresses. This little rig checks port address fragments on the right and eliminates fragments that are correct. If you're quick, you can lock them in place. On the left, the device is showing a list of possibilities. The longer you're in the system, the more of those addresses third echelon can eliminate. Unfortunately, time is not your friend here. If you time out, you'll sound an alarm. And if you abort after the critical threshold, you'll also sound an alarm. When you think you know the correct port address, simply select it on the left and you're in. I've seen more men die in doorways than anywhere else combined. Always use caution when approaching a door, and use every tool at your disposal to ensure you aren't walking into an ambush. Locked doors provide a couple of approaches. Picking a lock is all about feel. Rotate the pick until you feel the pin start to move. Release it by wiggling gently at its threshold, then move to the next pin. Anyone who says I'm cold and detached has never picked a lock in his life. Sometimes, if you're sloppy, you might not have time to be subtle. Thankfully, a good solid blade makes short work of a lock, but it's loud and leaves trace, so use it carefully. If you're careful and observant, sometimes you'll find a golden opportunity to breach a door and eliminate any threats at the same time. Myth. The deciding factor in a contact is firepower. Reality. 
concentrating firepower for mobility increases life expectancy in combat. Remember, surprise is decisive, and you must be decisive. Travel light, conserve ammunition, and above all, keep moving, because you won't know if you're in a bad position until you've stopped and won. Damn, one more thing. When under fire, reposition, then reacquire. to that light. Who broke that lock? Another light off. Man down. I think he's unconscious. Are you okay? What happened? We have an intruder. Sound the alarm! <laughs> <laughs> 